Hello, uh, today I'm going to shoot a quick uh, BH2 video. I have here uh, an arm off of a BHTU scope that needs to be totally serviced. The grease is very stiff and whatever, but uh, that's not really why we're here today. The reason I'm uh, shooting this video is to show you, if you look at this fine focus knob here, if I uh, zoom in just a little bit for you, so I rotate that on the other side. You can see it's got a little bit of a wobble to it, and the reason for that is because the fine focus shaft has been bent um, at some point during the life of this thing. It's taken an impact, perhaps during shipment, or who knows, but it, for whatever reason that is, it is bent. Now the way I would go about uh, fixing this issue is to start with I would uh, pull the Put a two and a half millimeter tool in this knob, two and a half millimeter tool on this knob, turn them against each other until one of them loosens up. And I've already done that. Uh, so, you know, if you want to see how that's done, you can check my other videos. But that's already been done. And when I did that, this was the side with the screw loosened on. And that's unusual. Ordinarily, the other side loosens. But in this case, this is the screw. This is the side that's got the, uh, the fine focus gear in there. And so that's the one that loosened. And that's also where the bend is at. So since that screw is out, all I've got to do to take the knob off is just carefully pull this out. At that point, the knob and the, and the fine focus gear, as you can see, that gear is intact and seems to be in good shape. These come off, and we're left with the uh, fine focus shaft sticking out of here. Ordinarily, if this were uh, a scope that was in decent shape, I could grab this knob and pull the whole shaft out, but I can't really do that in this case. It gets really tight down. The reason for that is because that bent shaft doesn't really want to go through that uh, that hollow brass tube that it's in it wants to it wants to catch because it's bent so what we're going to do is we're going to try to take that bend out of it for two reasons one is it allows me to take it apart much easier without damaging the, the mechanism inside there and uh, number two is that uh, it, 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 it'll be straight when we're done and you know that's definitely better than having a, wob a knob that wobbles a lot so let's go ahead and do that So there's a couple of ways you could uh, determine, you know, like where the bend is, how bad it is, or whatever. You could put a machinist dial indicator on there, and you could rotate it around, and you could do different things. But what I'm going to use is uh, this little drill chuck type deal, got a little hex attachment on it, so that you can put it in like a like a, a drill driver or something. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put this over the shaft, then take the key. I'm going to just tighten it down a little bit. It doesn't have to be real tight, but just tight enough that it doesn't go anywhere. There. Okay. So now if you look at that, if you look right here, you should be able to see this going up and down as it rotates around. So that's indicative of the bend that's in the shaft. So all we've got to do is try to take that bend out of there. And uh, if we're able to do that, then I think we'll have a scope that can be serviced and put back into use. It will be good for somebody. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this around and watch this this end here and I'm going to rotate it around until it's at its highest position right there I'd say it's about its lowest position up there is it's at its highest position I have a quarter inch hex tool that I'm going to put over this and uh, once that's at its highest position I'm going to just try to move this down a little bit bend it down until it's straighter and, I don't know, it's hard to say whether it's any better or not, but let's keep doing that a few times, always putting it at its high point, bending it down. And that's uh, definitely better. She's not quite there yet, but it is better. It's actually a little bit loose still on the shaft. I think I'm going to tighten that down and make sure I'm not fooling myself here. Okay. So now it's snug on the shaft. Uh, rotate it to its high position. Bend it down. And of course you have to bend it beyond the point where it would be straight. You have to, you have to go from the... Uh, 
elastic deformation point of the material to the plastic deformation. Right now that looks pretty decent. See that? I might have actually got something that's usable. So I'm going to loosen up this chuck. Take it off. And now, you can see it, but I was able to pull the whole shaft out because it is uh, much straighter now. So if we'd like to see how straight it is, put the shaft back in, take the original knob, put it on there, being careful that the uh, gear doesn't get damaged as it meshes. And as you can see, that's much, much straighter. And I'm going to call that a victory and say that the, the, that fine focus shaft, which was bent, is now decent again. And I, th I think that'll be fine. I don't think anybody will have a problem with that. And uh, here's another view. As you can see, that's, that's pretty darn straight. I don't really have, have any problem with that. If we turn it from the side, you can see that that runs pretty true. See you on the next video one of these days.